Right, uh, I haven't shaved, I haven't brushed my hair, but I have been out for a run and I feel okay. So this is the news segment, part two. You get to ask the questions, I get to answer the questions right here on the channel, plus some extra news as well. So stick around, there's news from the car industry is very important, but I'm going to deal with the questions you asked from the last one of these. So if you want to ask a question in the next one, you leave a comment under this video and I will check the questions of that one. In the last one, Diabetes Beat It says, Bob, do you reckon there will be much discount in nearly new cars when the main dealers reopen? I have my eye on a couple of 191s. Any extra savings would be obviously welcome. Yes, I guarantee there will be discounts. If not discounts, I mean not direct discounts, there will definitely be discounts on the finance packages. There will be all kinds of incentives to get you back into dealerships because dealerships right now are closed. I fear some of them may never reopen again. Uh, I fear some of them are spending a lot of money to begin with before this actually starts and they're, they're going to find themselves in a position where it's very difficult to do business and that is going to be catastrophic. But yes, there will be discounts for sure. And if there isn't, well, you know, they're not being very smart. Okay, so uh, King One-Eyed says, Bob, love the short updates. Any chance you could, on your views on what the market may look like when the economy restarts and then going forward from there, right? Economy is going to be very quick off the market to begin with, but I, I feel that we're going to have a very fast slowdown as people realize they don't actually need to spend much money to exist. This is what's after happening. There's been a shift in how people behave. They realize that the money that they get in the bank account pays bills, but yet you can have some left over if you don't buy coffees or you don't buy sandwiches or you don't buy takeaway lunches or takeaway dinners or whatever it is. People are becoming a little bit more self-reliant. This is a good thing. This is what we should have been doing all along. And you will find that this will continue. I think people are going to continue feeling that way and wanting to get more value out of what they do every day. While we'll have a burst of activity, as we all realize the outside world still exists, um, I think the economy then will kind of slow a little bit. It will slow down as people don't necessarily need new something or new this, or new that. They might need something new for the house. I think the DIY market is going to be quite good. Todor asks, any, new, any news on a new Insignia coming? Um, what's the starting price going to be? No idea what the price is going to be. Insignia is on the way. There's lots of cars on the way, but everything is literally paused. And I'll cover it in a new second. I mean, we're only starting to uh, produce new cars like from yesterday, so it'll be slow. Right, let's get into actual news stories. So first up I'm gonna hit you with is Elon Musk. This this is actually sort of a March news story that I saw. Uh, I was gonna cover in another segment, but then of course this entire thing happened overnight more or less. Um, uh, Elon Musk's factory farm is an undeniable success. It's coming from Popular Mechanics, a very trusted news source by the way for Popular Mechanics. I do think uh, I would trust what it says. Generally speaking, it's a very old, very well thought of uh, publication, so I don't really have a problem with covering it here. Uh, the battery backup Elon Musk built to win a bet has saved South Australia tens of millions of dollars, they're reporting. The record setting battery is made of Tesla power packs and helps stabilize the local grid. And rural South Australia experiences bad blackouts every summer. So what they're doing is using a very large area that Elon Musk built uh, that's using old Tesla batteries and it's stabilizing their grid out there. And it sounds like a brilliant idea, but eventually these things will have to be replaced. They're not infinite. They can't infinitely continue to generate electricity, but hopefully we can find ways to continuously recycle these things. And this is the biggest problem I think that faces us in this transition, this movement towards other energy sources, is it sounds brilliant that we can recycle these batteries and recycle stuff, but in actual fact, you can only recycle it maybe once or twice, and then it's kind of it. Same for pretty much any plastic. Plastic has to be downgraded to be recycled. So you start off with very hard plastic, like this lens cap thing here is nice and hard. It's made of real plastic. That can go on to do another job, maybe. That can go on to be something else. Uh, it doesn't really have any recycling information on it, but it's not something I'm going to get rid of because it's off that camera. But... You know, that kind of hard plastic can go on to have another life and then it goes on to have another life and then chances are it ends up in landfill anyway. So there is a point where where things can't be recycled to a certain degree, but it seems to be a good uh, idea for Elon Musk out there. I'm working, I'd like to see it being instigated in other places as well to get it moving forward, to get other people starting to think that way about electrical. Uh, this story comes from The Drive, thank you very much, The Drive for the tip-off. Again, it comes from kind of March. There's a couple of other stories that I missed out on in the Sunday service and stuff I was going to use along the way. But anyway, this is one. The Diesel Brothers is a YouTube channel, uh, and what they do is, you can see even from that little thumbnail there where the guy has got a, 
uh, diesel and what he's done is he's he changed the emissions level so it emits black smoke. I've seen this while I was in Texas as well. You can literally flick a switch and it turns off the emissions and it starts emitting just black plumes of smoke which is highly dangerous, highly toxic stuff. Anyway, they were hit with a fine of $850,000 for tampering with the truck emissions. Um, they were on the Discovery Channel. It's called the Diesel Brothers. I've never seen it, I have to say. Um, but it's there now the TV show has to pay $851,451 for their role in producing the selling modified diesel pickups that wreaked, or is that wreaked or wrecked, environmental havoc in the state of Utah. Um, David Heavy D, Heavy D, Sparks, David Sparks, Joshua Stewart, Keaton Hoskins and Dave Kilini, Kilini, aka Diesel Dave, where the targets of the case reached a federal judge after being initiated by Utah physicians for a healthy for a healthy environment. Initiated. That's a very weird way of phrasing that. The judge ruled that the defendants must pay the amount to the United States government and Davis County with the additional restitution potentially on the way. A quick mention here that sent out to me by Alan Bateson, who's the MD of um, Volkswagen Commercials Ireland. He's a big uh, charity supporter. He's a big Jack and Jill supporter. Jack and Jill are in trouble. Their funding has dropped through the floor, as has all charity. Don't, don't make any mistake and think it's just Jack and Jill. There's much more widespread problems than that. All of their activities that they would have done, in other words, collecting in the street, church gate collections, Tesco, bag packing things, all that stuff that would have been normally done for Jack and Jill is kaput. And so they are missing a lot of money. And Jack and Jill is, is a charity I've supported in the past as well. Uh, I think it's a very good charity. It gives a chance for parents. It gives a chance for minders, carers to get a break. And that, that's really hard. I'm fortunate my kids don't need any special assistance, but my heart goes out to parents uh, who are 24 hour a day minders of kids. And it's a very, very trying, difficult thing. And to get 10 minutes, 10 minutes in your own mind, lads, is, is, a, is a difficult thing. And it's, it's something I talk about a lot when it comes to mental health of us men, of people in general. But, you know, we have to look after one another. Sometimes that mental health requires us to get just 10, 20 minutes, half an hour, half a day on our own, in our own head, with ourselves. Uh, and a lot of these parents don't get that. And Jack and Jill has offered that to them for quite some time. So if you can do something for Jack and Jill, if you can support Jack and Jill in some way or another, there is email addresses and phone numbers there on their website, jackandjill.ie. Moving on to another news story. London Concourse is uh, sending out a couple of pictures. They sent out pretty poor pictures and fairs, but they are selling tickets to their, their concourse. It's on Wednesday the 19th of August, uh, Thursday 20th of August, um, they have admission tickets there, £40 in the UK. Um, it's the Honourable Artillery Company, which is there as well. Uh, there's a couple of pictures that I have online, but that's pretty much it. It's not, a, I'm not going to go mad into it, but the concourse would be cool to go. Always have some serious cars at that. News from Nissan in Barcelona. Thanks, Nissan, for sending that one. Um, Nissan Ireland sent to me, actually. They're making respirators in the Barcelona plant now. They're not the only car company doing that. There's loads of others on that as well. It's great to see them doing something to keep themselves going, but also great to help the effort that is out there. So well done, Nissan, on that one. Uh, since the beginning of the epidemic, we assumed the challenge to develop a low-cost, portable system that could reach all the corners of the world, especially those emerging countries where COVID-19 is going to cause a great deal of damage, where the majority of patients are not going to have access to respirators. And thanks to everyone's effort and desire, this has been possible. And that it comes from Mel Miguel Valdecubres. I can never pronounce these names. CEO at QEV Technologies, anyway, uh, in conjunction with Nissan, who are making respirators. Um, imagine the havoc that COVID-19 has waged on Spain, on France, on Germany, on particularly Italy, uh, on uh, on the UK right now, on the way it's happening in Ireland too. Imagine that in a third world situation. Imagine that, you know, in parts of Africa, in South America, in these kind of smaller, more regional countries that don't have massive ER departments, that don't have resources to just fire money at things. You know, that's where these kind of respirators come into it. Anyway, congratulations, Nissan, for joining that fight. Very well done. And uh, news from Volkswagen. Volkswagen, both Volkswagen uh, cars and commercials, have begun manufacturing again. 
on a smaller scale. So they're not going to fire stuff out at the rate they're at before. A nice cautious start to it so they begin supply ramp up. So there'll be cars there to buy when we get back to work, which will be about three or four weeks from now. <laughs> Everybody's ready to get back to work. And I'm waiting for everything to get back to work as well. So that's me too. I can't really do a whole lot either. I still have a Passat. I've booked in another couple of cars, but it's quite hard to get things done. <clears throat> so I rely entirely on on YouTube and I rely on you to support channels. If you can, there are a list of links down below to support this channel, whether it's PayPal or Patreon or Amazon shop. I've updated the Amazon shop quite a bit to a considerable degree. There's good few stuff there as well. My kids even made a little sub shop for you for stuff that they want, for, you know, as kids during the lockdown, what they like to play with and what they like to do. So there's a few bits in there as well. Worth checking out. Go and check it out for the crack. Now, I also noticed from the Irish Times that they've said that Toyota, Renault, and Volkswagen are to reopen European plants. Now, I don't have anything from Toyota and Renault saying about that. I don't know. I didn't get an email from either one of them to say it's happened, but it seems that the Irish Times has got onto it. Uh, Peter Campbell from the Irish Times has got onto it and found that... Uh, actually, he's added another one to it as well. Toyota, Hi Renault, Hyundai, Volkswagen and Volvo are amongst those that have opened or prepared to restart production as the sites closed last month, though others, including Jaguar Land Rover, have pushed back to earlier plans to fire up their factories, is what Peter says. Now, I don't have details of what's happening there or deliveries just yet, but I'll make inquiries and find out what cars are being manufactured and whether deliveries will resume soon or what's going to happen next, because dealers have to gear themselves back up and open up again. Some dealerships will still have lads working in them, people coming and going, but a lot of dealerships are shut and some may never reopen. Um, hopefully, we will get back to normal at some stage in the future, but for this year, I would be very nervous about saying that we're going to do a whole lot more. The car industry has fallen off a cliff over the last while, so we'll see how that starts to pan out. But we'll keep, we'll keep the ear to the ground. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me for today's news. Uh, if you have a question you want me to answer it, leave it in the comments down below, uh, and I will answer it in the next video. So hit the subscribe button, if you can support the channel, there's a list of links down there if you want to get at them. If you want to buy something on Amazon, please use the affiliate links. And it doesn't matter what you're buying, just so you know this, you can use anyone's affiliate links. When you go to Amazon through an affiliate link, the affiliate gets a payment no matter what you buy. So it doesn't matter. You buy anything you want from Amazon. If you use the affiliate link, somebody gets a little cut from that. And it doesn't cost you a cent more. So please use the affiliate links wherever you can. Use mine, go to Amazon and buy yourself a shower. It's not in my shop, but as long as you got there through me, I get the cut. Thank you very much for watching, and until the next time, I will see you on the far side.